To a Fox 5 update, Vegas Vic is almost back to his former glory. You've seen been on Fremont Street lately. You may have noticed he's been slowly lit back up. Comes after a notice by the city of Las Vegas that the owners of the iconic sign were in violation of city code by keeping him turned off. Fox 5's Mike Allen has the latest update on the 72-year-old Vic. Yeah, Vegas Vic is slowly coming back to life. Most of his neon lights are back on. You can see up there. Now, there are still some parts of them that need work. Fox 5 got an exclusive look at that work being done right here in Las Vegas. Take a look. Parts of a Las Vegas icon. In the shop Monday morning at Young Electric Sign Company's repair plant near Tropicana in Decatur. I think it's important that, you know, somebody who's local understands the history of the sign. It is also a part in getting it repaired and keeping it right. John McLaughlin works at Yesco. I am a local Las Vegas resident, been here my whole life, so it's actually important to me that I get to be a part of something that is historical as that. He likes the fact that as most signs around the country are being switched to LED lighting, Vegas is sticking with its neon roots. I think it makes the city unique in its own way, even if it's already Las Vegas. This tube you see here is just part of Vegas Vic's wide array of lights, and even though most of the rest are lit up now, those other ones will be coming into the shop soon. We are actually working on a complete refurbishment. Right now we wanted to get it bright and up and running, but we are working with the ownership group to try to redo the whole sign and you know try to keep it burning for longer so we're not in a constant state of maintenance. This is not the first time the company has worked on the old man. He's actually been in several times before. That's given the folks working on it this time around, like Oscar Gonzalez, a nice advantage with all the specs for Vic's intricate glass tubing mapped out from all the prior work Yesco has done. Like McLaughlin, Gonzalez takes great pride in the job, telling Fox 5 how his oldest kid recognizes his old man's handiwork. He's telling him my, the young ones, you know, do you know my dad built that sign? Do you know my dad built uh, make that neon sign, you know? And that's when I really feel really, really proud. It's especially nice for these neon specialists to restore one of the oldest and most enduring symbols of Las Vegas' old days. Typically, they usually come down and they go to the boneyard, so the fact that Vegas Vic in particular is still up is amazing. And as Vic gets his full facelift, the sign itself will stay up, and each neon tube will be individually taken down and brought to the shop. So while it's nice to see him almost fully lit up now, just wait a few weeks until he's got all brand new neon courses to his veins. Reporting from Fremont Street tonight, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. And Vegas Vic has been in downtown Las Vegas since 1951. He stands 40 feet tall and is considered the world's largest mechanical neon sign.